So congratulations. How, how does it feel being here at the HCAs? Oh, very good feeling. It's very good to be uh, considered um, as a, like a stop motion film to be considered up against everything else, uh, which is like the feature film sort of uh, films. Um, and I think I would tout like Guillermo del Toro's like uh, like push for like animation being you know considered as film. We do. Like as, as in a stop motion film, we do exactly the same as you would do in a live action. Mm -hmm. So that goes with camera work as well. Frank Passingham did a fantastic work on camera, which, which I think should be recognized as camera work on the same level as a live action film should be recognized. Uh, the VFX work is the same as you would do on a, on a live action film because you got the sets, the actors, the lighting, the real light and, and the extension and stuff you do for our film is exactly the same as you would do for an Avatar or a Top Gun film. Now, as an animation supervisor on Pinocchio for yourself, when did you when did you know when you were working on this project that you had something special? Oh, when Guillermo starts doing anything, you know you're gonna have, you're gonna have something special. So, um, I felt that you know, first time I, I read the script, then Pinocchio, spoiler alert, he dies. I was like. Oh, and that happens sort of like to 20 minutes into the film. And it's, it's just a point where the audience think they know what they're looking at. And then he dies. And then you're like, what? And then he enters into this like special realm of, of, of death. Uh, and then it, it's nice to confuse the audience like a bit and, and, and wake them up and go like, oh, I thought I knew I was watching, but now I don't. So that's, that was very exciting. So I think that's was the point where I thought, oh no, this is going to be great. Now, as an audience member, I think Pinocchio and stop motion animation is beautiful. Yeah. But, but before I let you go, I want to know is, when you work on these projects, where do you find the patience to do all this animation? Well, it's not like, it's not about patience. Because like when you're working, you're working as fast as you can, really. Ah. So it's about sort of precision and checking your own work and making sure that the frame you're about to take is as perfect as it can be and then you take it and then you move on and, and you, you're working with like you're working as fast as you can so even though you, you're probably only going to make like two or three seconds or, or sometimes less you look at your work at the end of the day and go like great and then you know when you do a, a six eight second shot and play it back it just seems like this plays forever you know it's quite a funny sort of time kind of funny time thing that happens with a eight second shot that feels like it's going on forever. Wow. I, and I, and uh, just to say that I didn't, I did so little animation on this film. I was sort of like the cheerleader and uh, <laughs> and Mark and Guillermo's right hand man and sort of helping with technical stuff. Uh, there was a crew of, um, we had 60 animators in total, which sounds like uh, small if you're comparing us to computer animation, but on a stop motion film, that is a lot. And we had 40, about 40 animators working at one time on about 60 different stages. So it's a, it's a busy day for Mark and Guillermo because like there's, there's like, like direction and, and finish shots and briefings happening all day long, all the time. Well, you've done a magical job, so congratulations. Thank Thanks you. for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Pleasure. It's been a pleasure.